Okay, so let us take a look into the codes. All right, for over here before the void loop, you see the void loop is over here. The void setup is over here. If you still remember, normally when you start up the IDE, the, the standard is void setup and void loop. Okay, so therefore, um, yeah, for the void setup is just simply this is the global set the global set setup. So in globally, all right, you can set pin eight as a button pin. All right, you set you, you set a pin three as a, a LED pin, okay, and then you set up your pin whatever as output and input pull out. Input pull out. This means that it's actually active low. So active low means that the Arduino is over here. This is our system. All right. So the Arduino will keep on supplying the system with power. All right. Right until the switch is closed, which is connected. All right. Then it, then the power is actually grounded. So when ground so along. So before it's the okay sorry before the switch is off I mean before the switch is turned on or or put into close circuit all right this thing is active um when there is no button press all right when there is no button press this means it's low lah okay if it's high this means that the button will will be pressed okay so this will be active all along so therefore it's active low for while for if the button is not pressed. So if the button is pressed, all right, then you you form a closed circuit, and the power actually grounded, all right. So therefore, instead of active low now, it becomes high. Okay. So if it's high, then this means that your this tells your system that. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that it's high, but um, I should have said that if it's grounded, all right, the Arduino actually read it as high, so to speak. Okay, because always it's active low. Alright, when the button is which is closed up, then the, it tells you that the button is high, so some sort of the meaning. Okay, so I hope that this is pretty clear, although not not very clear. But anyway, so this is this is where you set up your but your your input, alright, as as a as a button lah, so to speak. You write your LED as low, alright. So at first it was your LED will will, will just be um, dim. It it is not light up anymore. Okay, so this is the initial start. So this this whole stuff over here is is within your start already, all right. So it's pre-programmed within your start already. Okay. So when you press the button, so or so for the press the button of of the thing, is using the while loop. You see. So do do uh do this thing. So you do you tell the system that do the above stuff all along, uh, while the button is zero. Okay. So when the button is not pressed, so this is when if the button is not pressed, continue the loop. So you loop, 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 loop. Okay. Loop whatever thing that is that is that is within itself, lah. So if happen that the button is pressed, which is equals to one, then the flash start. Okay. So I repeat again. Do something that is within the loop. There is nothing. So you keep on looping nothing. Okay, I I don't yeah you could you keep on looping nothing while this thing is still kept untouched lah. Okay, because these are all your initial things. I shouldn't have said that just now, but anyway, so just take note that the do over here is to loop within something. This something is empty, so you loop within this empty empty stuff while your button is not pressed. So while your if your button is happen to be pressed, then your your flash um five hundred uh millisecond. I mean, not five minutes, but the the half period and two times comes in already, this, which is this one. Okay, so therefore I think this is yeah fairly useful. All right, and then all right. So your ini your so next you you gonna initial initialize your counter. Okay, so they actually skip one step. So okay, sorry, they actually didn't skip one step. My fault. So they initialize the counter first, and then you use the for loop. Okay, so this for loop over here is is somewhat to represent this this chunk. Okay, this this particular stuff all over here. I think it's all over here lah. So this particular stuff can be re-represented in terms of the for loop. Okay, so the for loop says that when the counter is equals to zero, so when you set your counter is equals to zero, your initial, and then this is the objective. As long as your counter is not larger than twenty, alright, counter will keep on plus. So it'll be like counter. Equals to counter plus one, all right, which is shown over. Which is shown over here, lah. Okay. 
So if let's say your button is being pressed for this thing all along, okay, it will keep on flash, 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 flash up to five seconds where it reaches your counter, your objective. Alright, then it will output this one as the, the ending part, your 250 and the 5. You see? Your, your ending part tells, telling you that the device is going to be off. Okay, so in, in full, for this particular for loop, alright, repeat again. The for loop tells you that as long as you didn't reach your objective, this is the objective counter is lesser than 20, as long as you didn't reach this one, you keep on flashing for this particular timing. Alright? Else if you if you are if you reach this if if you reach this objective, then you will actually come out of this for loop and after that you output your counter equals to zero, you reset your counter. So I repeat again, you're gonna reset your counter, alright? And then you're gonna flash two fifty uh which is which is shown in the question lah. So you're gonna you're gonna flash five times at two hertz, so to speak. Okay, that's it. But however, if you still remember back in 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 the old, I think two two videos ago, you remember when setting up the function is not that easy. Okay, your flash over here, although you 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 happy happy you use the flash, but where does the flash come from? The flash actually comes from here. Okay, you're gonna set up the void. All right, it tells you that the system is gonna is not gonna return. Alright, for void, there you can use return. For if, for example, you have initialized something, 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 at the end of the day, you can return. Alright, but for the void, you don't, you can't return anything. Okay, so void, you can set up the function with certain variable, first variable, second variable. This variable tells you your your t over two, right? Your half period. Alright, telling you this particular high, low. Over here is one period. This is zero. So you flash one time, and then you off for a particular time, and then after that you flash again, things like that. All right. So this this part tells you the the duration that you need to on and off, and this part tells you that how many times you want to flash your stuff, and the whatever stuff I think I have described to you already. So this void this function, please remember that it's always at the bottom, after you close your void loop. Okay, the void loop opens with a bracket, and after that you opens up this one. Where you want to input your whatever stuff and then soon it will close up okay so once it close up it's nothing else already so all the way between all the way below is whatever thing that you want to set up your functions your whatever other stuff you want to set up you just put it at the bottom okay so lastly the the button press the which is this one i can't much i can't understand much about this because as as, as you can see we, we say that if the button is pressed, things like that, if it's equal to zero, this thing is actually initialized at the bottom over here also. Okay, and what does this thing say is that you set your button, so you only, so for this case here, he only set initialized button press, that's it. There is nothing, con there's no condition talking about initial press, I mean, in initialized button press. There's nothing to describe what is within this thing, which is a bit weird, right? Because normally we want when we initialize some things, we need to initialize if or whatever thing. But however, over here, we didn't actually initialize anything. We just only use button press is equals to zero. But what is button press? Nobody know. All right. I actually tried in other programs. I don't even know. Um, it it, it don't works. All right. This thing don't works. But only works in here. Uh, so that's why I don't know how 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 weirdly it is. But anyway, for the button state, all right. For the button state is being used where. The button state is being used and therefore I think that the button state, all of this thing, belongs to the button pressed. So this this thing over here is something like a function. Okay, same as your void flash. Over here he actually write as initial, initialize button press with no variables. But he actually put everything of the information within this button pressed. Okay, so I think this is this is how they actually put it. So within this this whole chunk, what it says is that initially, so you initialize another thing is that the button the state of the button is equals to the digital read. So you're gonna read the your button pin. So if your button is equals to one, which is high, so this tells you that your button is being pressed, all right. And if you return that, this means that the button is on because active five is now is low, 
okay to be active low now is high sorry okay so at first it's active low all right and uh, if you freeze it as active low is actually this thing your return zero okay to a more detailed explanation all right we're gonna still come back to this thing okay your Arduino all right we're gonna go into a more definitions one so the Arduino itself it will constantly supply power to to your to your system okay your system so it is always one so therefore it's a pull up and as a system you know that actively when you supply active power into your system you always be low okay so act actively your Arduino is always one all right and then your system will always be active low okay now if your button is pressed okay so I'm gonna erase this one if your button is pressed you're gonna connect your button to the ground right so because norm always your, your button will gonna, will gonna be connect to the ground so therefore if you connect to the ground your, your Arduino will read as zero okay so therefore uh, this thing over here will become high okay so therefore over here when this this button is closed this is one all right which is being shown over here your button state is equals to one okay and then this zero tells you the Arduino is zero okay so this is a bit a bit cheap right so therefore you need to kind of pay attention so I repeat again, state of your button is zero for this case. So your, your Arduino itself will constantly supply one. All right. if, if you don't know why it's one or zero, this is like one and zero only. One tells you about power, zero tells you no power. Okay, so if Ardu Arduino sends out this, the, the thing to your system, all right, it's always one, okay? And your system always read as active low, okay? Because actively, you always be low because you you didn't you didn't um output anything for your system okay and once your button is is being closed okay your button when it's being closed i use a different color your this thing over here will becomes one and your arduino over here will becomes zero all right because it's grounded you see so this zero tells you for the return return tells you about the arduino state all right well, this one over here tells you your button state since you have already initialized your button state as your button already you, you read your button you see so therefore I just don't want I want to explain it clearly so in the future if you revise you'll be clearer all right in case of confusing you again I'll just remove that, that particular command okay so over here if your button is pressed your Arduino will say that okay I have, I have no power all right and your I will not supply any power to your to your system and therefore our system will light up okay else if your button state is not all right so over here this this thing over here is out of your if so take note your if is particular open open bracket all right and then you open up this thing if something you do this thing else okay else tells you that you're already outside the bracket so this thing over here they actually didn't write else anymore they just shortcut write this thing so in in the arduino they actually didn't write any else at all okay so just write it as returned one semicolon so this this tell this thing tell you that if your button is not equals to one all right then you you output as this so if your button is equals to one return zero telling the system that you're out you're off you have pressed the button and the, the light bulb will light up else return continue to return one which is active high i mean sorry active low yeah active low else uh which is active low and then you continue to be to be high when your button is low so this this thing over here is your arduino always to be high all right this this thing tells you the arduino is low now okay so in the end i think hopefully this this gives you a full understanding of the whole code all right and it's up to you to actually um, decipher the rest of the other codes and, and other problems yourself so i think this is it for for this uh, whole whole um, questions so see you soon